Hey folks, it's Mad Rabbit, and we're back in with another tutorial, kind of in the same area. So, without the further ado, let's just see, look down, that's the measurements right there of what this is going to be as a circular tower today. So, you know, because basically you can change up whatever materials you want for this. Um, pause along the way if you are trying to build along with this. But um, this is pretty simple, bu simple building as far as the bottom part goes. The part that gets complicated is the roof, which... Um, Probably about the majority of this, it's 22 high right here. Let's read there. So the, probably about the majority of this, is, as I was saying, is the roof design, which is complicated. I'm actually showing you how I'm doing the roof in this one. Um, so at different points, you're gonna have to slow it down if you are following along. But really, should, after a while, you should see a pattern and be able to just do it on your own and wing it. It isn't like it's just like a set set in stone, like you have to do it in just a certain way. But again, again with this thing changing out different materials for this could give you a whole different look also. So think about it, you can actually make a tower in red or a tower in whatever color you want or even just change it out for you know like uh, stone or wood and try different colors with things. Um, so here we go, here's the roof and this is probably the most complicated part of it. So I show most of it here um, just at least if you guys really are wanting to follow on doing exactly as I do it um, that you can do it if you wish. Some parts I do cut out. You just, it's just, it's uh, implied that you continue along the side here doing something like this. Here we put the full locks in and the slabs. So I don't show every solitary part of it, but it is pretty much, we're doing a pitched roof. So what I do is, like you see here, I put a full block on everything and then we go up again. Kind of in the same pattern here as we were doing before. Um, but this time around, you actually won't be using the slabs. You'll just be using full full blocks. But then you like, I sort of go in. Some of them you can go in. You know, it's like it's however you want to do it. You know, and then you just fill in this thing here because you want to kind of taper in. And the quicker you can taper in, the quicker you can get to the top of it and get get it done with. So again, another pitch. You kind of alternating the pitch every other time. Um, obviously you can do it without the pitch also. You'd have a shorter, stubbier roof though if you did that. But um, I think I like the pitched roof look. And when you see this, it actually comes out pretty good. And when you have these these, these stairs here, kind of sitting here, um, you definitely want to make sure you don't you're not able to see into the tower. So in this in this case, I did put a stair on those. As you see here, I'm covering it up with a full block, so you're not actually seeing into the building. And where you got areas that are kind of awkward like that, yeah, you definitely want to make fill it in, and uh, so that you can go inwards with uh, the next row of, st of stairs for the roof. And then, yeah, if always pull back like I just did there, and take a look, and make sure everything's even on all sides. And again, I'm doing it with the stairs this time on all on everything. So it kind of it becomes kind of redundant after a while, but um, rather show you this at full speed and go really slow through it, and it'd just be so boring for you guys to listen to me try and commentate over something. That ends. This is this footage is uh, originally was about 30 minutes worth of footage here. So if you really are serious about following along and doing this, this is not difficult to do. All you do is hit the pause button on each row and just watch what I did. It's really not tough. Um, and anyone can do this. So, yeah. That's why I'm doing these things as more as tutorials now, guys, because I really, it, that way it gives you no excuse for, you know, not doing it yourself. The whole point of the show is to inspire you, but if you want me to do it in a tutorial fashion, I mean, I will, which is what I'm doing lately, just to try and get people more, actually, at some point, you gotta stop watching YouTube videos and actually going and playing the frickin' games that you watch videos for. <laughs> I know it's probably shooting myself and and for other YouTubers, shooting ourselves in the foot if we say stuff like that. Because obviously we would like to grow our channels and make money off of this and all that. But it really is sort of, at some point, people become like overly fascinated with the watching of the video games rather than playing it themselves. They just sit there and they obsessively watch it. How about you actually go out and do it? See, the series like this, other building series that on, on Minecraft, 
our real, our real hope is to get you guys building on your own, taking this design, changing it up slightly here and there, and making it something of your own. Or even if you just wanted to copy everything brick by brick in a tutorial like I do here, you can do it because I'm showing it all steps. It's just a matter of getting off your lazy butts and doing it. So I'm really hoping you guys do do that. <laughs> really, I, I like nothing better than, than, than to hear you guys are actually going and doing things in, in Minecraft rather than just being uh, being a nuisance on YouTube. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm in one of those moods again, guys. I really feel like talking in this video. Um, yeah, I'm in a surly mood, which is to say sort of like I'm sort of angry with things in general, but I'm not going to turn it into one of those episodes. It's sort of like... Um, I hope people start to get it. That's what I'm really hoping for. I really hope people start to get it with what what we're trying to accomplish either here and on other channels too. Okay, it's about it's about inspiring people on the, on their own to do their own thing and not to go, "Oh, please give me this as a as a free download so I don't actually work for it." And uh as you know, that's been my pet peeve. I've actually made a rule up for I basically just block people that keep asking that stuff. So, I really do enjoy building these sorts of things for you guys. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. And I'm really hoping you guys um, actually get off your lazy butts and uh, start making stuff of your own. I really want to start seeing people doing things like that. Uh, as you see here, this little area here, I wanted to have it hanging down a little more because it looked a little awkward after I pulled back. So you might want to wait till I actually get finished here before you do start this section. But what I end up doing is basically just filling in those areas with uh, blocks. And like as you see here, I think I end up using slabs. Yeah, they just fill it in because uh, you'll, otherwise you'll see through and you don't want that. So what you see there, that's pretty much just what it ends up being all the way around. Now we're going to go for the dormers. Um, lately I've been doing this with a lot of my projects, putting dormers in. It definitely gives it a much better, more, it just, just gives it a way better look to it. Um, you can do whatever way you want it. Um, I did not do a pitched roof on, on the dormers this time. Remember I did some pitched roofs on the ones over there on that other building we did last time? So if you want to make a pitched roof version, like make it two tall rather than just one, kind of like what we were doing for this, that, that would work too. Um, it might actually look better. Uh, I almost entertained the idea of doing it myself that way, but I, I didn't. Um, after I got one done, I go, eh, I didn't feel like tearing it down. So, and you don't even have to go too crazy trying to, to blend it in. See here, I was trying to figure out, how am I going to blend that in more? You don't even need to. You know, just, you know, throw some shutters in there. You can throw in a few of these uh, posts just, you know, for little decorations. Um... Don't go too crazy with that kind of thing, because sometimes overdoing it doesn't make it look good. But, um, yeah. And that doesn't necessarily have to be where I put mine either. And, yes, making judicious, judicious use of the upside-down stairs sometimes helps also. Gives a little more supported look to it. And now we're going to go in and basically change out some of the materials so it looks a little bit more... Like it's got like a wooden structure to it. So like this is like a white plaster kind of thing rather than just being kind of a plain boring tower. And we're going to sort of do little dormers here. I don't know if you call them dormers in this case. It might just be like a window eave or something. And um, I do change this up. So hold on before we go any further. Oops. Yeah, I end up doing some work there like that. So that's sort of how you would do it. And then I'm going to keep doing like a wooden frame in here too. So you kind of have that cross kind of look to it. Or the wood's kind of crisscrossing around. And you can go even further with it if you wish. But, um, yeah, you know, you may want to not go as crazy as I went and leave it be. But, uh, I was actually doing a ring around it in some spots. And then we went up further and uh, did another window here. You should be able to do all this out measuring if you just stop the video again. Just stop the video and uh, take a look at how many blocks up and down. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and give you precise measurements, but you should be able to figure it out. And even if you're not precisely on 
And it isn't that difficult to figure out, guys. So, yeah, it's basically this sort of the same thing there, didn't I? No, a little different, but, uh, yeah. It sometimes looks nice. And I, I did actually did, like, a wood part for that. That was cool. And again, even on, on the curved parts, you can actually kind of make uh, the wood kind of go around like that. See? And you actually could go the other way, too, and kind of make it a big cross or however you want it. So, yeah, that's sort of how I did it. See how I did? So whatever you do, just make sure you duplicate it on the other side. So I think that came out, it came out pretty good. Unfortunately, lately, I have not been doing too much interior stuff. Um, I usually leave that, guys up, that, that up to you guys. Do whatever you want to do. And we may reach a point where we do some home and interior design stuff for mid more medieval stuff at some later point. Because I do have so many buildings that don't have an, an actual interior done. Then maybe we can almost make a separate series of it or go into that at some later point. But right now I really just want to get the outside shapes done. Um, so you see you're just you know, throwing down enough light just so you can see in there. And obviously you guys can decorate these things inside however you want. Put, put the floors wherever you want to put them. Um, again, more with the decoration of that stuff. Yeah, put some torches on the outside too. I don't know if I do that. I might probably do. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a, it came out really good, that tower. And uh, most likely with MC Edit, I might, I I'm most likely am going to move it. I'm not sure I'm going to leave it right here. But it is going to be in this section. So I think that's it for our footage. So uh, we'll just end it here. Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. And I'll catch you guys next time. It's Matt Rabbit signing off. Adios.